For generations, this family of fishers have lived from the sea. Meli and Joffrey Saranda have five children. But they might not be able to carry on the family tradition of living by and from the sea in the future. Climate change poses a threat to their small island. I worry that my house will be destroyed by severe storms. The thought of it scares me, mostly because of my children. I don't want them to become fishermen. I want them to get a good education. The nearby island of Negros is responsible for part of the climate change problem. Sugarcane fields here are routinely torched after harvest, and the island's sugar factories spew carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The island of Negros is the source of nearly half of sugar produced in the Philippines. Many workers find jobs during the harvest, though most of them are paid a pittance. Much of the island's forests have been cleared to make room for sugarcane plantations. Okay, Forester Michelle Alejado hopes to combat deforestation by planting new trees. She shows workers at a nursery how new forests can be produced using indigenous seeds. San Carlos City has supported the project for four years. Workers here are able to grow nearly 400,000 trees each year. Uh, I like this job because I'm helping to save the forest. Plus, I earn more here than with other jobs. And the trees are growing fast. Um, this area was formerly covered with grasses and um, shrubs. We planted this area for the purpose of uh, minimizing soil erosion, biodiversity, and carbon dioxide sequestration, um, the battle against climate change. Workers clear away the undergrowth. These native tree species are fast growing, and in three years, some will be cut down and used for fuel or timber. That brings in additional money for further planting efforts. But it's the people of San Carlos City who are providing most of the funds for the project. A cubic meter of tap water costs 12 pesos, or about 20 euro cents, and a small water levy is placed on every cubic meter of water build. The tax money is used for the reforestation project. The new trees absorb carbon dioxide and keep water in the ground which will help to ensure the community's future prosperity. Forest manager Michel Alejado has come to talk with the mayor of San Carlos City. He developed the prize-winning water peso system and oversees the project. And he has more in store for the future. Well, the challenge right now is to find uh, for uh, more land to, to plant trees to uh, maintain and rehabilitate our watershed area. And we really need the national government to cooperate with the uh, local government to implement this uh, uh, project. Sage City is a two-hour drive from San Carlos City. There, Terence Daklas from the German development organization GTZ is working to change public attitudes towards the environment and he's found the perfect venue. This museum offers free tours and courses for people interested in the environment. At first, people from the area, who are mostly poor, were too shy to pay a visit. But they soon realized that a trip to the museum could be informal and interesting. 
Today, Douglas is telling visitors about the greenhouse effect. What are the threats to reef? Young people serve as junior guides at the museum and pass on their knowledge about issues like climate change and coral reefs. Because the coral grows very, very slow. Carbon dioxide coming out in the factory causes climate change. Thank you. You may now proceed to the next area. <laughs> Not far from the museum, children put their theoretical knowledge to work by planting mangrove trees, which help stabilize the coastline. For the small flat islands around Negros, mangrove forests could prove key to the area's survival. The mayor of Sage has spent 30 years working to protect the coasts. His mangrove planting initiatives faced resistance early on. But public support for those efforts has since grown. Even if it will rise up to one meter, the island will stay because there are no big wave action. The, 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 the one that destroy the islands are the big waves, constant pounding of big waves. And the mangroves are the one protecting the islands from the waves, with big waves from the uh, sea. Okay. With that in mind, island dwellers have continued to plant more mangrove trees. They hope their efforts will enable them to weather more frequent storms and rising sea levels and help them carry on with their lives.